Neha, can you hear me? Can you uh, share your screen? Now yeah, your voice is not audible. Yes, Neha, uh, can you share your screen? Am I audible now? Hello. So, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to represent a university named Milwaukee School of Vegetarian. So, Milwaukee School of Engineering was established in 1903 by Oscar Verworth, but in 1932, a restructurization was taken place in the university, and it was again named as Milwaukee School of Engineering. Okay, so now let us understand a bit about this university. So the campus of this university is Spain's 22 acres. Also, this is the first university to start the application-oriented curriculum. Now, this is the university whose main focus is to enhance the engineering field, and that is the reason that they are doing much more for the enhancing this field. If we talk about this undergraduate program, so it undergraduate program ranked 11th according to the US News and World Report. Also, this is the first university who start the application oriented curriculum. So, as this university is established by the Oscar Verwoerd, his main motive, his concern is to enhance the engineering field. That's the reason he has initiated this university. If we talk about the computer engineering program, so it ranked fourth in US. Also, if we talk about the faculty to student ratio, so it is around 1 is to 13. Means for every 13 student, there is a professor, and these professors are well experienced. They all are PhD holders, and more than 132 uh, faculties currently teaching in this university. Now, let us bit understand about the Milwaukee City. So, Milwaukee City is a part of Wisconsin state whose population is around 1.6 million, and it is located at the shore of Lake Michigan. Now, this is the popular city of the Wisconsin state. It is famous for the art museum, breweries, and the different legs. If you are looking for the budget-friendly city with a plenty of job opportunities, so I believe this is the best place you can have your education over here. It is beautiful, friendly, and clean, safe environment you can get in the city. Now, this is the university, which was major emphasis on the further development of the engineering field, knowledge, and skills in effort to enhance the productivity of practice and engineer. So currently, uh, 2,747 students are teaching in this university. Out of this, 215 students are the international student. Also, you will get the opportunity to study with those faculty which are belong to different countries, 
even they all are the phd holder as i told you in previous slides as well and more than 30 plus um, countries students are currently studying in this universe uh, 30 plus countries students means again you will get the opportunity to study with a different culture a multicultural aspect in one university a university whose focus on the practical application of what is learned in the classroom means they have designed the curriculum of the student in such a manner so that the student will get the opportunity to what they have learned in the classroom they can easily apply in their working criteria as well now the program that the university provide to the student they are easily flexible and they are the platform so that student can take their approaches to make the career development and their demand for their career now the program include the building and construction which include the architectural engineering civil engineering construction management if we talk about the engineering field do they have like biomedical engineering biomolecular engineering electrical engineering industrial engineering mechanical engineering also related to the computer they have program like computer engineering software engineering computer science also the user experience they have some of the courses related to maths business and nursing which include the actuarial science bachelor of business administration even the nursing courses as well now let us understand about the documents requirements so for submitting the application to the university you must have the transcript of all your previous university and the semester you have attended meanwhile you also need the gpa of around three out of four either you can have your TOEFL or the IELTS GMAT and GRE is required to get admission in the university with respect to that you also have the resume your statement of purpose I think you have also have the three letter of recommendation your passport and bank statement as well once you will submit your application your application turnaround period means you will get your acceptance letter in four to six weeks once you will get the acceptance letter um, you will get an I-20 and it will take around two weeks to get an I-20. Now, to submit the application, once you will click on the link over here in this slide, to once you will click on this link, you will see the page like a account creation like this, on which you have to mention your email ID, your um, further details, your student type, major you want to apply for. Once you will submit this application part, then you will be redirected to the page that is my application, in which you will gonna fill your uh, details about your previous studies, your password address, everything you will gonna mention over here. After that. For the application tagging, so you can use at the bottom of page of your application on the right page. Okay, so for the um, So, as I already discussed with you about the courses and further options we have, like we have architectural engineering, then we have some of the courses related to engineering, maths, business, nursing, even we have the computer engineering courses related as well. So, I have already informed you in the previous slides that there we have some required documents like a letter of recommendation, passport, bank statement, and then resume, GMAT and GRE is required. Also, minimum GPA requirement is three uh, out of four. Now, the next uh, thing is to submit the application. Once you will click on this link, you will find a page like that on which you have to fill your email ID, your personal detail, your student type and measures. Once you will submit a thing, you will just going to go on the page, my application. So in this detail, you will going to fill your uh, personal details, the previous studies you have done. Once that, you can just submit your application through this portal. So for application tagging, you can just um, at the bottom of the application once you will complete. So you will find a page like that on which you have to mention the agent. And at the end, you have to mention the name of the agency from which you are working with. Okay, so when we talk about the uh, living on campus, so currently 52% of the student are currently living on campus in the university and 48% of the student are on the off site of the campus. So the living on campus will provide the well furnished room, proper kitchen available for these students. And if the student want to have some uh, group study, so there's a places available, the open area as well available for these students so they can have their studies over there. 
Now, there are so many facilities that is provided to the student by the university, which include the wellness center. These wellness center includes the counseling services, the health services, even the advising as well. If you have any problem, if you don't want to speak with anyone, so you just have to fill a link available on the university website. And once you will mention your query, so you will be definitely contacted by the concerned department. If you have any query regarding your education or anything, you can also connect with the tutoring team. And also we have the current center so that the student and the faculties and the other association person are also eligible to take part in the current center. More than 350 plus career companies are coming in the uh, university to hire these students, which include like uh, How uh, Harley Davidson, also the Foxconn, Tesla Motors, Google, and Johnson Control and Amazon. These are the companies, even mo uh, more than that, companies visit the um, campus to hire the candidates. Also, there's one more uh, thing is that there are um, more than 90 plus student organization and society who help the other student and the candidates so that they can face any problem or query according to their process or anything. So they are easily, um, these organizations help these students for their further process. So here we have a like international alumni. <clears throat> Her name is uh, Manjing Kun. She's uh, she had a great experience with the university because the <clears throat> classmate and the other people professor are well experienced and they are very much um, helpful to her in her process. Now she is working as a software engineer in an MSOE startup company in a Milwaukee city. So. For the course information, the tuition fee and the mandatory fees in the university is around $46,506 and the estimated living expenses over here is $15,000. So we can see the total estimated cost is around $61,506. If we talk about the scholarships, so scholarship is available to both UG and PG students. It is up to $24,000 per year. Also, uh, the MSOE graduate can earn up to 71,497 every salary on yearly basis. So this is all about my presentation. If you have any query regarding the presentation or have any query regarding this, so just do connect me on my this contact detail. Thank you. Thank you very much. So moving on to our last presentation we have, that is from, Ronaldo. So, uh, Ahmed, you can start your presentation. I'll just start this session.